Hello everybody. I welcome you back to the part 2 of SAP Build Process Automation Overview Tech Byte series. In the part 1, we have seen how to create a SAP Build Process Automation project and how to create a business process workflow within it. In this part 2, we shall see how to release the project, how to deploy it and how to test the business process workflow. Let's get started. I am now in SAP Buell lobby. In the lobby, we can see the sales order management project. This is the build process automation project what we created in part one. If you have not yet watched the part one, I am attaching the link here. Please do check this out. Let me open the project by clicking the project link. We had taken the example of sales order management. I will expand the process to see the end to end process. This is how the business process looks like. Now we are going to release and deploy it. We have to deploy because for the end user to execute the project has to be deployed. Before deploying, we need to release the project. On the top right corner, we see the release button. Click on the release button. Here we can see the release version. It is indicated by three numbers. The first number stands for the major release. The second one for the minor release. Third one for the patch. Since it is a newly created project and we are releasing it for the first time, we are seeing the default release version as 1.0.0. We can provide the release note as first release. And click on the release button. So now we can see in the notification that sales order management project 1.0.0 is released. So if we do some changes here, for example, I'm doing a very minor change, say I'm changing the details D from capital D to small d and then saving it when I now try to release the project for the second time we shall see how it appears the release pop-up appears yeah now we can see since we are releasing it for the second time we have different uh, options here depending on the significance of the change we have done the third option is for significant changes if you have used the newly released feature of sap build process automation and then enhance the process then we have to choose the third uh, then we have to choose the significant change option. You can see the release version is now automatically changed from 1.0.0 to 2.0.0 because it contains a change which is incompatible with the already released version. So if it contains the minor change, you can see the release version as still the major release is 1 and the minor release is 1. Since it has, since the changes what I have done right now is only a patch kind of change, I can choose this one. So you can see the release version is 1.0.1. One, one, one. one is the patch version. This I'm going to release again. Yeah.
so here in the notification we can see it is released we shall go to the project overview and here we can see the status of the project it uh, editable means it is a uh, it is the draft version we can already see the released versions from the drop down here it's uh, we have now two released versions 1.0.1 is the version which we would like to deploy and execute so here once we release the project the deploy button becomes available click on deploy we need to choose the environment environment is nothing but the runtime environment in which the process will be executed by the end users we can choose public environment there are two options in the environment a shared environment and a public environment this can be configured by the uh, build process uh, automation admin in the control tower which we will be showing in the future tech byte uh, series so now click select the environment as public environment means uh, public means it can be accessed by all the users which are present in this sub account and we click on deploy now we can see the status has changed from release to deployed and the project is active okay now we shall see how to execute or run this process we shall click on the sales order handling process and click on the trigger since this is the version which is deployed we can see a, a public link this is the url which becomes available once we deploy the project this link can also be embedded as a tile in the sap build work zone standard edition or sap launchpad service yeah uh, now i will be uh, choosing the form link which can be executed directly from the browser we can just copy this link copy to the clipboard and uh, we'll open a new tab and paste the url and execute it so we had seen uh, different um, roles which comes into picture while creating the business process and now during the execution uh, two process participants comes into picture so one is the sales representative who will be triggering the process as a end user and the second one is the sales order approver or the sales order manager who is going to approve the request now as a sales representative i'm going to fill this form customer is a b c d order id i will choose a very simple order id one two three four and the order amount is one thousand expected delivery date i will choose two days after the current date and uh, now as a sales representative i'm going to submit this form uh, so that it reaches the sales order uh, sales manager manager's inbox and he or she will review it in the next steps okay now i am submitting it we are seeing your form was successfully submitted from the sales order representative uh, uh, role i have submitted the form for approval now where the form will end up is we'll go to the lobby and here we can see the inbox my inbox application
I had given the process started by as both uh, the sales representative uh, email ID as well as the sales manager. Yeah. Now, as a sales manager, I am viewing or reviewing the submitted form. We have the customer ABCD order ID order amount is 1000 and expected date is uh, 18th. Today is 16th and uh, expected delivery date is 18. So this order can be fulfilled. So I can say this order can be fulfilled. And I will approve it. I have two options. Either I can up approve or reject. I will approve it. So once I approve, it will a confirmation notification will be sent to the sales representative. Okay, once I approve as a manager, when I refresh again, now I am seeing this uh, confirmed notification as a sales representative saying your sales order has been confirmed congrats and now i will submit this acknowledgement now as a process uh, participant we have done the job now the process administrator like uh, who will monitor the process performance and all those things where uh, this person or persona can access the uh, business process uh, instances is from the lobby we need to go to monitoring here click on the process and workflow instances and uh, from the project list we can select the project name sales order management project also we need to change the status now since we have completed the process we have to select this completed so that it comes up here the sales order handling process was triggered and also completed we can see here we can see when it was started who started it and the and the released version the instance id the environment all the key attributes can be viewed here and also the process execution uh, log can be seen here like uh, we have to see it uh, from uh, uh from down up here the process was started by me and uh, the task went to the sales order manager and the sales order manager approved the task and then it came to the sales representative as a confirmation notification and uh, the confirmation notification is uh, accepted or completed by the sales rep and then the instance completion uh, is successful the context we can see all the data submitted here yeah uh, so this is the start of the event with the these are the attributes uh, with which we triggered the uh, process and uh, for the sales order approval form these were the parameters passed yeah and then the process got executed this is the uh, way how we release deploy and test if the process is working as expected uh, I hope you have enjoyed the part 2 and found it helpful. If you have any questions, do post it in the comment. We will address it. Thank you for watching.